Hello, I'm Dr. Allison Ramsey. I work for Rochester Regional Health and I'm a clinical assistant professor of medicine at the University of Rochester. I'm also a fellow of the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology. And I'm here to discuss the difference between a drug allergy and a drug intolerance. So a drug intolerance is a big umbrella term that many people use for any unintended reaction to a drug. So some things you may be familiar with include uh, sleepiness after taking an antihistamine, diarrhea after taking an antibiotic, or constipation after taking narcotics. A drug allergy is actually when your immune system reacts to the drug, meaning a part of your immune system recognizes a part of the drug and causes a reaction. In terms of symptoms for these two things, adverse drug reaction is a big umbrella term, as I said. So the symptoms can be really different depending on the person and the drug. A true drug allergy, we as allergists divide up into thinking about in kind of two different categories. The first is an immediate type reaction, which is the typical allergic reaction people are usually familiar with that may involve hives or itching, cough, wheezing, abdominal cramping, and that usually occurs minutes to hours after exposure to a drug. A non-immediate reaction generally involves the skin, and it can be any different type of rash, and in more serious reactions, patients may experience other organ involvement. For management of an adverse drug reaction that's not a drug allergy, it really depends on what the clinical situation is. Some patients may be able to tolerate a related medication or may be able to be treated through the course depending on the importance of the drug. For a true drug allergy, in, if a patient is reacting right away, um, the most important course of action is to stop the drug that's causing the problem. Beyond that, uh, patients may need treatment um, of itching with antihistamines or with oral steroids. But then long-term, for either an adverse drug reaction or a true drug allergy, it really is important to enlist the help of a healthcare provider to make sure that you're not avoiding medications that are needed for care. So to develop a long list of medications that you're avoiding uh, can be detrimental or uh, have a negative impact on your healthcare. So it's important to make sure that this is all clarified with a healthcare provider. And allergies can be particularly helpful because they have testing for certain medications, uh, notably penicillin, um, and methods of safe reintroduction of medications if needed. Um, so consultation with an allergist can be very helpful in the case of, of any drug allergy question.